Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a little review video. What we have here is the Bauer polisher, the orbital polisher. So gonna test this thing out. I bought a little bit of the Meguiar's number seven. It's like, a, it's got a little bit of grit to it and then a polishing pad. So hopefully that has enough grit for what we're gonna do. I'm gonna open this up in a second, but the project today is 2012 Full Runner. Don't believe it's ever been hand waxed. It's just car wax or uh, car wash wax. Sorry. As you can see here, about a week ago, I just got a towel and did a little hand rub with that polish there. So we're gonna go ahead and polish this truck up, see how that new orbital works from Bauer, and give you my my uh, opinion on this machine here. So let's go ahead and get it open and check it out. We're at, it's got a little Allen key to take the pad off. Has a uh, variable speeds we got a lot there I mean it feels pretty good the plastic those cords get caught on everything the plastic feels decent I wouldn't say it felt like a Milwaukee tool but it feels pretty good let's plug it in check it out and I got a pad right here nothing came with it as far as pads or anything good and like I said I'm gonna use this Meguiar's I do have some mother's cleaner wax that I like to use too but I left it at camp so we'll have to do after we do this we'll have to do a wax job as well this is just like a polish I believe yeah yeah that's just a polish Nice long cord, probably 10 footer or better. All right, so what I do, I just got, well actually this one doesn't spin. Just put a little bit on there and I kind of dabble it around. We did wash this with just, uh, took it to the car wash and used the cheap, cheapest car wash at the car wash ran it through and I brought it in here so it's real sunny outside so let the paint cool down a little bit still pretty warm but let's give it a shot turn it on three see what happens <laughs> seems like a good good speed
Okay, first section's done. You can see the difference there. Uh, this polish, it's doing pretty good. I could probably go a little more aggressive. You can see there's some imperfections that's probably not gonna come out, but it really does bring the, the color back. So it's getting this oxidation off of there. There's some worse spots like the tailgate. She used to live on a dirt road. So the tailgate, you can hear that, has some uh, imperfection in it. Some clay bar would probably be good for it or a more aggressive polish, but we're gonna use this polish for now, throw some wax on it later. I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on the rest of this. Keep you guys updated as we go. Machine feels good. I know I'm not really showing y'all that paint, but first uh, first glimpse at the machine, just doing that little spot, feels pretty good. got the perimeter done I need to get up and do the roof everything's working good like I said I could probably use a little more aggressive polish there pads holding up good so she's wiping down what I've already done here got the fan blowing here's uh, what it's looking like so far machines working good I'm just doing a quick kind of a uh, hit. I'm not taking every panel and spending a bunch of time on it. I'm just going over it three or four times and then moving on to the next panel. But uh, next I need to do the roof. I think it's probably the worst. Let's see what we can do with it. done polishing the roof see what it looks like so it was pretty bad looks pretty good I need to hit it again I think but looks good let's see how this front piece looks Got a lot of that oxidation out of it. Looks better. All right. Go ahead and finish wiping it down. As far as the little Bauer machine, it's working good. It did get a little warm on me, but um, I feel like it, it's not too much. I mean, it's it's running pretty hard, so for it to get warm, should I think it's fine. good okay guys got the truck all polished up if you guys have suggestions on other polishes and different sequences i've seen some guys uh on youtube doing different sequences of um i guess compounds or whatever for the polish so if y'all have any tips on that let me know in the comments otherwise we're looking good i went ahead and cleaned out my pad here 
I think we're gonna go ahead and take this to the house and go ahead and do the wax job on it. I, uh, it's got that kind of squeaky clean sound from the polish. And uh, I wanna put some wax on it, so I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. But as far as this fella here, uh, had a surprisingly nice long cord and I mean it worked as as it should I don't know how it compares to a Milwaukee or something like that but it uh it did do what I needed to do as far as you know weekend warrior stuff I don't know about if if a professional could could use that or or not but um definitely did what we needed today so that being said I'm gonna get out of here go back and wax this thing Hopes this video, hope this video helped you guys out. Um, I got mine on sale for $69. I don't remember what the, the regular price is. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time.